Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of the NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series right here on Pichu London. We are live at Pigsport for the first of the of four Pigs Grand Slam races. There'll be all four there'll be four races in Pigs tracks all season long. This is the first one here in this season. What it is is uh, well it's basically it's, it's not it's like a triple it's like a um, Grand Slam or something. It's a pair of four ra it's four races in pigs themed tracks um, that is well has some of the best NR Town 3 tracks ever so I thought I'd honor them by having a um, well a special event for this tight end so oh and yeah we're here at Pigsport at for the first time since season one the last season we had a wild finish back there three wide but no wrecks and so I've decided to I've adjusted a bit of the I and I to make to allow for a little bit more wrecks hopefully well, we'll see, but yeah, we're back at Pigsport for the first time since Season 1. Also, a warning to some users who have not commented. The, the names of the uh, users that have not commented will be in the video description, but will be in the description below. And those are the users that are that are that might lose their rides if they do not follow the comment rules. So, we may have some users kicked out for not commenting, so... No, the ones that have not commented are going to be listed below, who have not come follow the comment rule. Those are the ones that are going to be listed below. For the others who have commented, you guys are safe, and I thank you for commenting on as much races as you can, possibly can. Some drivers, uh, users, commented on uh, every race, and for that, for that, so I would, I say thank you to those who have commented on every race so far. Thank you, and I hope you guys continue to comment because there'll be another set of ten races in which you must comment on three of them. Three of ten, three races out of ten you must comment on to keep your ride. Just to let you know, there'll be another set of ten which starts over, so you must comment on those races too. But please keep up with all the comments. I like it. I appreciate it. Keep up with the likes and subscribe to Pichu London if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for the support. Now we're about to start here at Pigsport. I do know one driver that is going to be kicked out after this, after this race. This will be his last race, and uh, we'll name that driver later. But first, we'll see the pole setter. The pole setter today for the first Pigs Grand Slam race is Joey Murphy in the 55. And I mentioned earlier that when someone was going to get kicked out after this race, that's Derek Noel, who's starting on the outside. He won last time at Zombie Spaceport. He is going to get he is kicked out of the of after this. This will be his last Pokemon Cup Series race this season. The reason is he has decided to drop out, but I thought I would extend it to ten since we're almost we were uh, halfway through um, the uh, first ten races. So I thought I might as well keep him a little bit until something happens. But Noel is uh, Noel is asked to re be released from his ride, so this will be his final race in the 88. And they will be, and before our 11th, before our next race, that'll be next week, before our next race, race 11, we will have a drawing for reserve ride drivers to replace the um, ones released from their rides because of not commenting. And once, you, and for those of you who uh, got the 88, for the one driver that got the 88 from the drawing, well, your point, you will be reset basically, which means that the 88's wins will not count towards the one who will, who will replace Derek Noel. So the driver who replaces Derek Noel, in other words, is not going to get credited with the win and must win on his own to be locked in the playoffs. So that win is null and void from here on out for that driver replacing the 88, just to let you know about that. So. Yeah, again, we will have a drawing after race, oh uh, no, before race 11, we will have a drawing for uh, ones that are going to be replaced because of not commenting for the driver, so be on the lookout for that. So anyway, let's go back to the um, starting lineup. Starting third is the fourth, James Shelley, and third is the fourth, James Shelley, and fourth is the sixth, Zach Flickinger. Starting fifth is the 07, Rod Houston, and sixth is the 20, Jake Williams. 7th is the 43 of Stephen Paulo III, and 8th is the 51 Jacob Lawler. 9th the 31 of Gene Sanford, and rounding out the top 10, the 18 of John McNamara. And now, without further ado, let's hear those famous words in Motorsport. And some notables below, I'm not going to list the names because we're a little bit short on time. Here are the rest of the field starting up. Just not mentioning them just for short on time. So now we're going about to hear those famous words in motorsports. 
Drivers, start the engines! And the cars are rolling off the track. And you see pace through again. I apologize for the bit of a weird view, but this is the best view I can get. Here we go folks, the first Pigs Grand Slam race of the season. Here at the return to Pigsport. And there's going to be a lot more wrecking here at this track. This track's well known for a ton of passing, a ton of three wide racing. Huge banks and stuff. So here we go, Green will be out. Joey Murphy leading us to the field. And it'll be 30 laps. Try to cut off to the start finish line. Here we go. We are waiting. We are still waiting. I'm surprised the finish line's not there. Now we're at to turn four. That's four turns in this track. Green flag is out. Wander way here at Pigsport. And we're back, baby, at Pigsport. Again, we have not raced at this track since Season 1, back when it was known as the Pichu Series. Already right off the bat, James Shelley going for the lead, and Rod Houston going three wide. Will we have another finish similar to one we saw in last race at Zombie Spaceport? They're already four wide. Now they're beating and banging each other. They've got to be careful. Hope, hope we don't have the same in. Oh, we do have the incident. James Shelley wrecks out. A lot of drivers wreck. And the caution's out. Who's going to lead to the stripe? Oh, I think Rod Houston. Yep, Rod Houston led to the stripe. And only four of those drivers actually made it out of the wreck. And others somewhat got damaged. That must have evolved almost, if not all, the entire field. So here's what happened. They were four wide going into the third, fourth turn. Then Jake Williams of the 20 right here clips the four of James Shelley. And then Dom Caps and Gene Sanford spin. Then the 20 spins out 43 and 6 all spin out. The 14 is also involved, 47, then the two Dylan Young, Luke Walker's hit, and a lot of drivers pile up in there, pile up below. And what a way to start off Pigsport. Last race at Pigsport, like I said, had no cautions, and we haven't even gone through the first lap, and already there is a caution. Oh, Steve Pollard just flipped. What happened? Oh, Nicole Williams gets in, and there's Tim Fraley getting into Steve Pollard. And he's down. Oh, boy, another spin with Dollarton almost in the entire field is involved in some kind of wreck. Ugly, ugly start here to the 1F Pigs board, and we're not going to have a lot of drivers left, I've got a feeling. Wow. And we have just got word a ton of drivers retired. No, some drivers still lapped down, still in the pits. I'm surprised. I thought they'd be retired by now, but not yet. We're going to wait for official war, and we're going to wait till we get back under green here to clear everything up. Well, right now, Stephen Paul III, John Radican, James Shelley, Mason Wood, Leah Walker, Tim Fralick. Dom Cap, Steve Pollard, and Zach Flickinger have retired so far. But the ones the Melissa below a lap down, and now two laps down. Nicole Williams, Raheem Bay Darby, Abby Sachs, Chris Dollarton, Austin Ogle. They might have still been in the pits. Now we're going to get back under green. And they're still in the pits at this point. Still a lot of competitors competing for the win. And Rod Houston is your leader right now. 
we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get as clean. Hopefully, this period will be as will be cleaner than the last one. Here we go. We're about to approach the green flag, which does not appear until after this turn four. So you're in. <coughs> And then there's following that is Jacob Lawler with damage in his front re front already. And the green is out again here at Pigsport. Already Jacob Lawler battling for the lead against Rod Houston and the 07 machine. There they go through the tunnel, through the parking lot tunnel, which is one of the most defining features of this track. Here comes Derek Noel, he's looking to go back to back, even though this will be his final race of the season. <coughs> Here they come towards the strut, the leader there is Derek Noel. And there's still some drivers in the pits. Aaron Williams really slow on the track. They've got to be careful of him. There's still some drivers on the track. And you see BK Racing working together. One, two. John McDammer spinning around just as I say that. And there's another wreck involving the top five. That's probably the second one in a row. Oh, wow. What a surprising turn of events. And Mary Cole was hit as well. Tough break. I thought that BK Racing's Kenny Bell and Mary Cole would work to the 1-2. But then that happened. We'll get to that later. But first, Trevor Harvey and Kenny Bell. It's Trevor Harvey. Oh my goodness. Wow. We've had another wreck involving the top five, I think. So let's see what happened. There you see the others. Mary Coleman tries to make a move, but then Pichu, I think it was, no, it was Rod Houston and Jacob Lawler getting together, taking out Pichu, John McNamara, and there's Ryan Richards and Justin Williams spinning, nowhere to go. There they go through the tunnel. They've continued wreck. They're going to continue wrecking. That's we'll move on to the other view. <laughs> a Marshall race. Oh boy, Dylan Young spins. Aaron Williams gets held up back there. Oh boy, Ryan Acosta, there's Ryan Richards, and there's Justin Williams. They could be picked. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa. Um, I don't think that's where Justin Williams was intending to go. There you see going through the wall and then hitting the 60 mile per hour sign. And Ryan Richards collects him with him. Yeah. That's what actually happens. Let's go on board with Justin Williams. Yikes. Now let's go on board with Ryan Richards. Um, I guess Justin Williams thought there was an opening back there he could go through, and no, there wasn't. And they get involved. Yikes. What a hard way to get... A hard way to, um... DNF. And, of course, this is another wreck fest here at Pigsport, which is really unusual. John McNamara, Mary Cole, Ryan Richards, Justin Williams, Marshall Race, Luke Walker, Ryan Acosta, Paul of the Third have retired. And Joe's John Radican has retired. The others have been R6 laps down and still in pit road for some reason. Guess pit stop's not the benefit here. And the others, Pete Chu, Lily Erickson, Dylan Young, are out. Are a lap down. 
18 cars are left on the lead lap. And only very few of them are capable or in contention of getting a win here at the first Pigs Grand Slam race. And now we're going to get back under green here at Pigsport. There you see the small, the number just dwindles by the laps. The number of cars left in the field dwindles by, for, dwindles every lap, almost every lap. <coughs> Trevor Harvey, your leader, then Kenny Bale, Joey Murphy, Derek Noel, Jake Smith, Diego Espina, Sammy Logo, Jake Williams, and Seth Cole and Gene Sanford, your top ten, the green is out again. Could this be an easy victory for Trevor Harvey? If these keep up, we're at wrecking. This could be an easy win. Or maybe not, as there are a lot of other drivers competing. Joey Murphy, Jake Smith, Kenny Bale, Derek Noel. Oh, they're on the bumper already. This could be trouble. They're already on the bumpers of each other. They've got to be careful. Only about the top five are in competition of getting a win. And it would take a miracle for these guys to make a move. Jake Williams and Diego Espina. The others are damaged back there. Again, it will take a miracle. And Kenny Bale's already making the move against Trevor Harvey. And he's got the move against Harvey. And he'll make it to the lead. And now Murphy's coming back on the bottom. The Murphy. Jake Smith going three wide. Here they come. Three wide here. Down to these six drivers competing for a win. Uh-oh, they're on the bumpers of each other. And if they wreck out, oh boy, it's going to be something. That will be something. Oh my goodness, Mason Wood. The 55 Murphy and Devin's Jake Smith. They were bumper to bumper. They could have wrecked out. They really could have with the bumper to bumper action. That allows other drivers to compete for a spot. Emma White is competing too. Jake Williams competing. And there's Gene Sanford. Others are still alive. They're three wide back there. They've got to be careful. Derek Noel on the bottom for the lead. Emma White won a comeback for her. She's making a huge comeback for the lead. Well, we have a surprise winner in the Pokemon Cup Series here at Pigsport. We've had this last time at Zombie Spaceport. This could happen again. Oh, it's so intense you can cut it deep with a knife. Four wide bow for the lead. There you see the 44 still leading. And we're only halfway through here at Pigsport. And it's still a lot of these drivers still competing. Gene Sanford going to the bottom. There's Joey Murphy competing as well for the lead. There you see Diego Espina slow off the pace and into pit road. Setting into pit road. So he's now one of the competitors in. And there you see they wreck again. Joey Murphy spinning with Jake Smith involved. And I knew they couldn't keep it together. And Mary Cole leads to the strike. Oh man, Joey Murphy gets hit hard on the rack. And we're going to see what happened. It, it involved only two of the competitors for the lead. Jake, Joey Murphy and Jake Smith. There you see them going bumper to bumper for the lead. <coughs> and then the 39 gets into the 55 right here. Pushes them down below and they both spin. Thankfully, no one else got involved there. Thank goodness. But Jake's Joey Murphy, a tough break for him. And for some reason, he could never get his car started after that spin. Even though it was just a spin, I guess his tire must have gone out. But boy, oh boy, has this been interesting. And pit stops are a must for these drivers. But Trevor Harvey and Derek Noel have chosen to stay out. 
But as you see here, Trevor Harvey and Derek Noel, two notables, stay out. Jordan Davis, Seth Cole, Jake Smith stayed out, but Smith is involved before in the wreck. And where is Emma White? Hmm. There you see Emma White taking pit stops. And I don't know, for some reason, she's not getting out of her stall. Or is she still pitting? Well, I see drivers get out already. And the first one to get out was Jacob Lawler. I think Emma White might have some kind of a problem. Oh dear. Emma, Emma White's car is vibrating just as soon as she got into pit road. Something went wrong with Emma White. I'm not sure exactly. And I think she might have gone damaged from Chris Dollerton. Rod Houston got a bit damaged from Chris Dollerton getting out of the pits. And uh, I'm not even sure. There you see Gene Sanford trying to getting some tires. Oh, another bump between Aaron Williams back there, a damaged car. Well, I guess Emma White had some car trouble. I guess it's safe to say that the 44 is not getting back up on track. She had a lot of car, she has probably a problem that requires her to stay in pit road and that's unfortunate for her. She was the leader to the caution flag. And now she's out of contention for the win. So little drivers in com contention. I'm not sure who's exactly in contention. Trevor Harvey, Derek Noel, Jordan Davis, Seth Cole, Jake Smith, your top five. Diego Espina, Jacob Lawler, Jake Williams, Gene Sanford, Rod Houston, your top ten. And the only other two drivers, four drivers are here. Aaron Williams, Alan Smith, and Samuel Ogo are still back. Are back, are still on the race. And Chris Dollerton is still... Wow, Chris Dollerton just got out of pit row. Joey Murphy has just retired. Dollerton is back up on the track. 13 laps down. Not sure how he was able to get back up. And they're not taking chances. They're pitting. They've got to pit. They are not taking any chances. At this point, they will pit. The question is, will any one of them suffer the same fate as Emma White? This could be an interesting race if things don't go too well for some of our leaders. Just saying. There you see Emma White stuck in the pits. There you see Kenny Bell stuck in the pits. Here comes Trevor Harvey. He's getting a pair of tires. That's one side done. One of the other side's going to get done, and the other side is done. And Harvey's out of the pits. But a few more drivers got... Oh, boy! Wow! Derek Noel gets into Trevor Harvey. Did you see that? Look at this. Wow! Derek Noel gets into Trevor Harvey. He had some words to say. And that's interesting. I'm not sure if that's... Wow! I did not, I did not even see that coming. And the first one out was Jordan Davis. The things are going to get pretty wacky back there. Oh, shoot. And since there's going to be less than... There's going to be 11 laps to go. There'll be lap cars on the bottom. And this is the last possible lap that this could happen. So, weird coincidence. Because of the pit road prop... Because of pit road, Diego Espina is now your leader. We're going to try to cut to Espina, and we are. There you see Espina, your leader, then it's Jacob Lawler, Jake Williams, and Trevor Harvey has to. And I knew it, Trevor Harvey has to go for another pit stop to fix the damage he had against Noel. So he's going to be probably mad at the 88 team for getting out of the pits while Harvey was about to get out. And Harvey's stuck in his, and Harvey's going to get, Harvey's going to have to fix that damage. 
tough break for the 11. What an interesting, interesting turn of events, folks. 11 to go when we hit the stripe. Ospina, your leader. Then Jacob Lawler, Jake Williams, Gene Sanford, Rod Houston, Aaron Williams, Alan Smith, Sammy Logo, Jordan Davis, Derek Noel, and Seth Cole. And I'm surprised Noel got out of the top 10 without fixing that damage. My goodness, what a shocking twist and turns race. Huge shockers all around, and we'll see how this goes. Wonder how the leaders will go. And now the green is out again at Pink's Point with 11 to go. With 12 to, wait, yeah, 11 to go. And not doing, the lap car is not doing any favors. Three wide to go. Well, look at that, three wide. Gene Sanford has the, probably the fastest car of all, and Dollarton will pass the 42. Even though he's 12 laps down. Is Gene Sanford gonna try to use that to her advantage? And she does make the pass. Rod Houston, Jake Williams still alive. And Ospina is dropping like bricks. This could be just a three car race at this point. Ten to go here at Pigsport. This could just be a ten car race. No, a three car race. Maybe even four. If Lawler can catch up, this could even be four. Or maybe five. And Ospina wants that lead back. Here he comes three wide per second. And he still has a capable car. He's going to pass Houston for the sec for the lead. <laughs> and it's still all about the 40. And it's still the 07 and 042. And 42 with damage is a disadvantage of passing Houston. Still cars capable of winning. Sammy Logo's caught up to the field. And this could be an advantage for Rod Houston to pull away. Oh boy, still all about him. And look at this. Williams uses the high side to keep Ospina out of distance of the lead. Out of reach. And it's still all, and it's still three wide. They have another shot. Ospina has one more shot. Can he make it stick? He's got a slower car than the rest because of damage he suffered earlier on the front end. Three wide battle between Williams, Sanford, and Olgo. And there we go. We got about seven to go. No, we got eight to go. Eight laps to go. Gene Sanford's turn to get the lead now. And Sanford pulling away. He's pulling away easily because of the slow cars. She's pulling away a bit. There's Seth Cole in contention of a top five. He could actually get a top five if he gets, if he stays like this. Last spot for the top five, Rod Houston, Seth Cole battling it out. Now Ospina going for the lead with seven. Now there's going to be seven to go. Now there's going to be seven to go. And here comes Samuel Logo going for the lead. He's been waiting all race to make his move. And he's going to have to wait a little longer because Ospina's got the edge right now. Seth Paul going three wide for the second spot. Rod Houston helping out a faster Rod Houston. Slightly faster. They're four wide for second. They've got to be careful. They've got to stick it together. Four wide for second. Be careful. They're in Seth Cole's bumper. Oh. Oh boy. Six to go. Six to go here at Pick's Port. They already spin out. And Cole is involved. And they spin a lot. And the caution is out. 
And I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Pretty much a three car race from here on out. Oh, Speedo might be the leader of this drive, but that depends if his car can stick around for the Carson White and yell checkered flags. <coughs> and no challenge from Jake Williams nor Gene Sant. No challenge from either of the two drivers. And Rod Houston Law Williams trying to catch up to them won't be enough as the 42 is going to lead us to the strike with five to go. Wow, a pretty, pretty, very interesting race that for every lap is like, you never know what happens. And there, and we'll get back to the caution. Here's the wreck. Like, there were three wide battling for third, I think. There were four wide for second. Oh, my goodness. I mean, wow. Wow, I mean, wow. Look at this. Ogo spins Cole out, and Sanford, Gene Sanford could not escape from it as well. At least Ogo was able to keep speed, but Jordan Davis and Chris Dalton were not able to. Jacob Lawler gets clipped as well with Seth Cole. And then Dalton comes back up the track, almost hitting Charles Sanford, but avoids him just narrowly. But unfortunately, the same could not be said for Seth Cole. Oh, he hits Dollarton. It's not been a great day for Dollarton at all. No siree. We just got worth the 51 has retired. And I'm not sure we're even going to get back under green at this point. Lawler, Harvey, and Joey Murphy have all retired. And Seth Cole has just retired. So nine drivers are left on the lead lap. I'm surprised we only have this. And nine drivers are left on the lead lap. And we're going to see if we're going to get back under green with one to go at least. And the car's lights are out. We're going to get one more lap here at Pigsport to determine the winner of the first Pigs Grand Slam race. Nine drivers compete for the win as Diego Espina needs to hold off the fast Jake Williams, Rod Houston, and other drivers for at least one more lap to win. <coughs> White flag will be out here at Pigsport with one to go, and it's going to be wild. Here we go, folks. They'll be going to the green. They'll take the green and white flag here. And they're waiting for it to hit the stripe for full speed ahead. And the green flag and white flag are out with one more to go in Pittsburgh. Diego Spina got the start he needed, but can he hold off Rod Houston and Jake Williams? And he's pulling away from each other. Pulling away easily because of the passing before. <coughs> oh, Rod Houston has got a good run on the bottom. He could actually make a good move. One more time toward the title turn. Here they come off the, here come the final two turns. Can Ospina hold on? And Houston doing everything he can to make a move. I don't think he'll have enough time. And off the final turn, can Houston make that final push to the lead? Here they come to the start finish line. Ospina with the block and Ospina wins it at Pigsport. And Diego Ospina, despite a damaged car, takes the win at Pigsport. What a, what a surprising race. And Diego Espina, the man known as Hades Racing, has won here at Pittsburgh. Congratulations to the 42 team on an incredible win. What an incredible race this has been. And, and, and your top 10 are Diego Espina, Rod Houston, Jake Williams, Samuel Logo, Dean Sanford, Alan Smith, Jordan Davis, Derek Noel, Aaron Williams, and Charles Sanford, your top 10. And the rest of the field either were lapped or wrecked. There you see them below.
So that'll do it here from Pigsport. Don't forget to comment if you haven't done so already. There'll be users whose names will be listed in the description on drivers that must comment on this race and other races to keep their ride. So I will warn them. So congratulations Diego Espina on the win. We will see you guys later. And the next race I think will be at Green Valley. That's the first time track we've ever raced at Green Valley. First time we've ever raced at Green Valley. Anyway. Yep, Green Valley's our next race. So I hope you guys stick around for Green Valley, and we will see you later.